Hello everyone, it's me, Evan, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're in Space Engineers, and we're looking at sort of my, my new fleet modernization project series. Um, they all go by insect names, you see. But already on my channel, we've had the Grasshopper, which I do believe is on the workshop. The Ladybug, which is definitely on the workshop now. The Moth. Uh, basically the, the favorite child of this series so far. And then the brand new uh, Mega Nerva. Which is looking pretty good, I'd say. Um, for such a small craft, you'd be shocked to find. It's actually packing two large railguns in there. So, pretty nice. With this vessel, I decided, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have multiple decks, and we're going to have ratways, so that you can actually maintenance access the entire ship, pretty much. So we've got the flight deck here. We've got a um, survival kit specifically up here just for the flight deck. And then if we go down, you can see we've got the ladder shaft here. And you'll notice that even the passageways in here are actually pressurized. Um, I'll get to this section later. But you also don't need to use your light at all, because pretty much the whole ship is lit up with these orange lights, which I rather like. So you can see here, this is actually an airlock, so this goes outside. There's one of these on each side, which means the ship also has a lot more access than a lot of my other ships which typically have a single access point. Oh, it appears something happened with the lighting in this room. You can see this is basically our limited interior, right? Where it's actually, you know, oh look, a soda vending machine. There's your survival kit, cryopods, you know, the like. But the really big nice thing about this ship is that despite its size, we have ratways that go everywhere. Um, and also, I started using these little shelves so that you can just grab resources when you need them, grind it off, weld it back up later. You basically got full access to all the working components of the ship. Um, and part of that's because the, the ship does not have any armored bulkheads that are really protecting these internal components outside of the external armor. So this is a very light duty ship in terms of the damage it can take. But uh, you can see we've got access to our two railguns, the back of our glorious uh, ion thruster there, one of two. And you can see we've got little chairs in case you need to make emergency jumps while someone's repairing. Um, and we've actually got staircases that go down further to the guts of the ship. Uh, to the point where we can really get to almost every working component on this vessel through this walkway. Um, with only a couple of things that are actually barred from our access, just mostly by being buried in other criti critical components. Um, lots of inventory access because it also does not use centralized cargo storage. So it's all small cargo containers, uh, lots of hydrogen, lots of little things. You can see our actual gravity um, right there. If you go down this ladder, this leads you into another little section where you can repair the lower, the lower forward-facing warfare thruster, as well as these hydrogen tanks here. Uh, more parts, you know, you could, you could, you can get to everything. Um, and you don't even have to really use your jetpack to get everywhere. Uh, if you want to, you can just walk it. Goodness. Quite the ruckus outside. Um, but yeah, you can you can basically hoof it to any critical component in the ship.
access to both sides, all that. We've also got some uh, little welders keeping the jump drives specifically and the other large hydrogen tank. Because there's two of them. There's this one and there's one back there. If these go off, um, your ship's basically scuttled, so... Nice to have those kind of in the core of the vessel. Got a remote control, because you never know when you'll need to use that. And there you can see that's our second welder, uh, of course, repairing the tank there. So yeah, that's that's basically the, the tier. It's quite fast as well, so that's nice. Um, oops. Okay, set that up wrong. Okay. So you can just hop in here and you can see we're actually pretty speedy. We've got at the at least um, one large hydrogen for maneuvering in each direction, with the exclusion of the front, which has two large ions. So Yeah, I don't think either of those went through the dragonfly. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see it can actually take that, and it's not even using any large reactors. It's four small reactors and then a host of batteries that make up for the peak demand. You can see we've also got a large amount of upwards thrust, which more just appeals to my specific sort of preferred mode of uh, space combat. Um, this little guy, not the most well armed in the universe, but with those railguns you can give people some, uh, some pretty decent trouble. And you've got some long range weapons to back you, back you up, but you're very much sort of a patrol craft at the most. Um, but you're a very easily fixable patrol craft, which makes it a good one, because that means that you don't have to worry about uh, little bits of damage and then having to actually take it to a dedicated yard or something to get it fixed because well all you have to do is just have the resources on hand and you can access anything in there you don't have to peel anything back you don't have to tear into your own armor like you would if the, the moth for instance was critically damaged if the moth gets critically damaged especially in this core section um, well, you basically just have to dig your way through to actually repair the damage. Um, and the same kind of goes for the, the ladybug here. The grasshopper is pretty maintainable, considering how much empty space there is inside, but mostly um, that's just sort of a, one of the wasteful parts of the design on this. Whereas with, with these other three, I'd say, I've, I've been much better about keeping um, to reasonable limits on stuff, so there we are. I'll be on the workshop in well, pretty soon, and uh, I'll have a link in the description. So it, by the time this video is out, it will be out on the workshop. So uh, feel, for, feel free to pick it up alongside any of these other ships, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.